Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some items to share with you today from DIY Digital Art. So we'll start with the one that we can see. This is an Easter off the canvas item. There is still Christmas items on the site, of course, but we are getting into Easter. So it is an acrylic sort of piece that you set up, but this is the main one. So we've got some tulips and some eggs and uh, I think that's a daisy, flowers. We've got flowers and eggs in a bucket, but then you do get to assemble it. And I'm just trying to work out, has that actually, oh, that has actually broken off. Okay, so I need to put a little bit of glue on that piece and it will glue back together. Um, unfortunately, it's just a little bit sensitive. And then you've got actually got two bases with this one. In fact, that's half stuck on now anyway. Um, so you do have a flower type base or you can just put on a standard type base. And once the plastic coatings are off, they will slot in a lot nicer so that you can actually have that stood up. Uh, let's have a look at the diamonds that come with that one. Let me bob, let me bob these bits back in. You do get a toolkit. Diamonds wise, I oh, know there is, I thought it was all rhinestones, but there are a couple that aren't. So the rhinestones we do get are silver, yellow, we get some grey black, they are different, they look very, very similar. Uh, we have some pinks, turquoise, like a peach, blues, greens, browns, reds. And then these are the two that are different shapes. They are both silver. And in relation to this, they go in the daisy here and the flower up here as well. The rest of them all use the small rhinestones. Pretty, pretty. So if you want some Easter decor that you have made yourself, then this is the way to be able to go about it. Get yourself an off the canvas item. There are a few different ones to choose from, but I chose this one because I just thought it was really, really sweet. And I thought that would be quite nice. Um, just on the side, just that little, little touch of Easter. And then, Let's go for the smaller one for number two. And this one is a 30 by 40 painting. It's got that sort of mystical vibe to it. It's, it is and it isn't. It's owls at night, but it does make me think um, it makes me think of Harry Potter and I don't know why. Like, it's not like I've watched Harry Potter or I'm into Harry Potter, but it does make me think of it. Uh, so we have two owls on a branch in the moonlight. Um, it is a 30 by 40. It has 22 different colours. And size wise, it is just short of 25 by just short of 35, so a nice size. It does come with a toolkit, and even better, it comes with the diamonds in baggies. So we have gorgeous blues, we do have a pale green, and then we have greys and purples, and it is round, and they look really nice quality diamonds as well. The fact that they're in baggies is even better. And then, last but by no means least, this is in a different type of bag than things normally come in. It's still a painting though. I think it's a square. Okay, so this is a square one. It's still a poured glue. Yep, it's definitely a square. It's still a poured glue one. 
it is this way up so it is orientated differently the chart is orientated this way but the image actually makes sense this way so if you can see there that is the image it's um it reminds me it's very similar to the sort of way that a couple of companies on aliexpress do their paintings but they're not normally poured glue um it's down to 30 by 40 and it's actually very close so it's 29 centimeters by 39 centimeters so it's very close to being a full size 30 by 40 and it's gorgeous trees and pathway it has an amazing 35 different colors it comes with a posher toolkit so you i say posher um, because you get the white boat which is slightly bigger and has a spout it also comes with tweezers and a little pen grip a few different sizes two different multi-placers and a couple of bits of wax and then all these colors are nice the colors do all come in bags they're not as nicely lined up as the other ones so i do need to get them out to show you the colors but Let's spread the colours out so that you can see them all. Oh, look at those. We've got some really nice bright pinks, bright purples. We've got a couple of the darker colours. Of course, you do need them for shading. But there's some really nice pop of greens, pops of yellows, pops of pinks, pop of red that will help bring that vibrant picture which looks a little bit darker on the canvas but once you actually diamond paint with that that is well and truly going to bring that to life because those colours are a lot brighter than the canvas and they do they're all weighed these so there are different amounts in each one but 35 colours is a decent amount of colours for a painting especially when it's just a 30 by 40 painting to get that many colors is rather nice so we'll keep that one orientated that way but just to show you the symbols are extremely clear and it is a square so the symbols are squares and um, you get more squares per centimeter or per inch than you do in rounds so they are the items for today. I will, of course, pop links to them down below. Thank you to DIY Digital Art for sending me them to share with you all. And thank you to all of you for watching. And I'll speak to you all again soon.